2015 was quite a year to remember, we saw the emergence of Christopher Taylor at the World Youth Stage, Usain Bolt at the 2015 Championships going head-to-head -head with Justin Gatlin at his best, and we also saw the arrival of the fastest girl in the world, Candace Hill. Hill caught the attention of the world in 2014 and 2015, when she went on a win streak that lasted more than 96 races, which only ended in 2016. What we do remember most of all is her performances at the World Youth Championships, when she set two new championship records and a 16-year-old age group in the 200 meters, running 22.4 seconds. Earlier that season she did set the 100 meters World Youth Best, otherwise known as the under-18 world record, running 10.98 seconds. That run meant she became the first and only youth female to break 11 seconds, and up until Amy Hunt's run in 2019, she was world youth record holder in both the 100 and 200 meters. However with all the success she had in her junior days, she has yet to sparkle at the senior level, which seems really hard to believe given how dominant she was as a junior athlete. At 16 she signed a major deal lasting 10 year with a 6, meaning she turned pro as a high school athlete. Having turned pro, the world youth champion began focusing on the Olympic Games, which was set to begin in Rio, Brazil. Making the team wasn't far-fetched, because she finished the 2015 season, the 8th fastest American over the 100 meters and 11th in the 200 meters. So with everything set, a professional contract, a training group, and coach Tony Carpenter, preparations went underway for the Olympic trials in 2016. However Hill picked up a knee injury at home, which at first was not seen as a possible season ender, given that the initial results showed she should be okay. It turned out that the knee problem became more of a nuisance as the pain persisted, and after another MRI it seemed more serious than before. This led to her eventually doing a surgery, which took away four months from her preparations, she could not even jog as a result. It was not until June of that year that she got the green light to return to the track, and by the fourth of the month she returned at the American Track League finishing fourth in the 100 meters with a time of 11.42 and 23.12 for third in the 200 meters. Looking at the fact that she was barely jogging for the past four months and without barely any training she ran those times, hopes were still on the Olympics trials. She went to the junior trials, and surprisingly she still managed to win the American Junior Championships, and even went on to win the World Junior Championships in 11.07 .07 seconds. While she did do well in that regard she failed to get her main goal, which was to make it to the Olympic Games, but she did do well at the Olympic trials, making it to the semis. In 2017, she only lost a single 100 meters race that one being at the Racers Grand Prix, and with the likes of Kellyanne Baptist and English Gardner in the race, losing that particular race was not really due to a bad performance. She did face more injury issues that year, with the previous knee injury showing up again, this derailed her season, and the plan to make it to the 2017 World Championships faded away. Things got worse the following year, as on top of the injury niggle she suffered late 2017, she began putting on weight, while at college in 2018. She had as much as 15 pounds more than her ideal racing weight, this made her unable to hit her times in training and played a major part in her disappointing season. It even trickled over into 2019, where she failed to impress, once again unable to pass the semi-final stage. Despite not having a 2020 season, mainly because of a pandemic, she was on her road to recovery, and it might be possible that we will be seeing her in this Olympic season, mainly because she failed to make it to the 2016 edition of the Games, and this time she will be trying to right the wrong of the past. So this means that in 2021 we should be looking out for the return of the superstar. Pushing her really hard, close to the line, Candice Hill gets gold, Swoboda is second, so Fort gets the bronze, but it's gold again for the girl from Georgia.